hair uniform is an amazing vibrant green, which was initially called finance green because the French imperial customs were in charge of collecting taxes on import and exports to the country. Because there are a few holes in this uniform and we need to support them with custom dyed wool fabric, I need to dye this fabric to match this amazing finance green. Here are my dye calculations for what I'm gonna be doing today to dye the fabric. So first I have my three colors, gray, brown, and yellow to make the green. This just tells me exactly what I need to do at which point, put in the additives, put in the dye, when I need to raise the temperature and for how long. And if I follow this correctly, I should get a really nice, even dyed fabric. So it's always a little bit of experimentation. It has a little bit of magic. I think dyeing for this particular uniform has been very exciting. At the Maritime Museum, we don't have any green uniforms, so it's been an incredibly exciting challenge for us to work with something so different than what we're used to, which is blue, <laughs> navy blue. But it is incredibly challenging at times to create these mixtures of colors using modern synthetic dyes to match an object that is over 200 years old. Um, it takes a lot of knowledge of color and color theory to be able to look at something historic and look at what we have that's modern and make the two match. Okay, shall we look at their fabric samples? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do it. You just want to hand them to me. Which one do you think looks best? I think maybe the actual colors of three are quite good. Yeah, it seems like the color might be okay, but yeah, just too dark. So the idea is that we'll get a color that's gonna match this part of the coat so that when we stitch it in behind, you almost won't see the damage that's there. Yeah. What we can do now is we can try and strip out some of the dye, see if we can get a better color match. So within the team of conservators here at Royal Museums Greenwich, we do have students who come to do work placements with us and we have a student with us in the textile studio so to be able to impart our knowledge to help them on their journey to becoming a conservator is hugely important for the future of all historic objects. We dyed six different samples which came out very dark but by stripping the colour away from the fabric twice we were able to achieve a correct shade of green for our uniform. Martha, do you remember sample number three yesterday that we thought was a good color? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it is. So we've stripped off the dye and it's not, it's not a bad color match. But I think when we get it behind these areas of damage, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So I think we can go ahead and start our stitching with this patch here. Mm 